Shei Timu has sent a message to you and I and every single Nigerian out there. He says we should endure the hardship. In a caption on his Instagram page, Shei quoted his father, the president, acknowledging the current situation and asking Nigerians to endure so we can reach the good side of the future. Shay concluded with hashtags that suggested that Nigerians should have faith in his dad and that our generation will yield the fruit of hardship and that Nigerians are in good hands. I don't know about you guys, but personally, I don't think Shay Tinubu is in the right position to ask us or to be a spokesperson for his father. But hold on a second. The real question is, Shay, what future are you asking us current Nigerians to endure? A generation that has never experienced any good benefits. I mean, as long as I've been alive, it feels like we've been enduring. It feels like we've been trying to survive. It feels like we have been trying to make it through and we've been hoping for a better government. Number two, I honestly think that she does not have any political position in this administration unless I missed that memo. And as he doesn't have a political position in this administration, I think it is insensitive of him to contribute to the conversations that have to do with government, specifically saying things like endure. And the reason why people are saying things is because we know Shei Tinubu has a business where he does media and he does um, outdoor um, billboards and stuff like that. So nobody is delegitimizing your route to wealth. But when you are driving nice expensive cars, you are wearing expensive watches you're jet setting traveling doing all of these things and you are the offspring of a political figure and the country is going through a lot it just doesn't feel like it's the best time for you to contribute to the conversation it feels insensitive in addition to that people don't have the capacity to endure when you think about the budget that has been recently allocated to things like 15 billion naira being used to renovate the VP's quarters, 26 billion naira used for Hajj tourism. And you think of things like Hajj tourism, things that it just feels like this is not the priority right now for our country. I don't think there's anywhere where we can ask anyone to endure anything. You know, I understand what Shaves Tinubu was trying to say. I understand where he was trying to come from. But right now, the common man is not the one that should be enduring what should be happening is there should be a shaving of the political budget with public servants allowances and the mismanagement of funds anyways nigerians went on to continue to drag shei tinubu and they were talking about how he's wearing a richard milley i don't even know how to say the last name but a really really expensive watch and apparently the watch is over 300 million naira people were so angry because it just feels like it's so insincere of him to come out and say this specifically in a time where people know he's not suffering and no one's asking him to suffer but it would have been better for him to use a route of silence in this period um on social media uh dunsworth gabriel said shei tinubu uses the luxurious richard mill watch and he wants Nigerians to endure and trust his father's disastrous administration. He should walk the streets of Lagos that his father built and preach this to its inhabitants. You know, the real question is, Shay, what future are you asking us current Nigerians to endure?